the global helicopter scene is a whirlwind of innovation, a constant race for more power, versatility, and cutting-edge tech. Two machines, the Harbin Z20 from China and India's Haldruv, are locked in a fascinating duel for dominance. Both are designed to be the workhorses of their respective militaries, capable of handling diverse tasks in challenging environments. But how do they stack up against each other? Let's delve into this chopper showdown. The Z20, with its sleek modern design, is a testament to China's growing aerospace prowess. It's often compared to the American Black Hawk, hinting at its capabilities and intended role. On the other side of the Himalayas, the Dhruv, a symbol of India's indigenous aerospace ambitions, has steadily carved its niche. This homegrown helicopter boasts a rugged build and a growing international presence. The competition between these two helicopters goes beyond mere specifications. It represents the broader geopolitical landscape, with both nations striving for regional superiority. The Z-20, shrouded in a degree of secrecy, embodies China's rapid military modernization. Meanwhile, the Dhruv, with its export successes, showcases India's growing influence in the global defense market. This comparison transcends a simple spec-for-spec -spec analysis. It's about understanding the strategic implications of these helicopters, their impact on regional power dynamics, and their roles in shaping the future of military aviation. So, buckle up as we dissect these flying machines and see which one emerges as the true king of the skies. Before diving into performance metrics, let's look at the physical characteristics of these choppers. The Z20, with a length of roughly 18 meters and a rotor diameter of 16.8 meters, presents an imposing figure. The Dhruv, slightly smaller at 15.8 meters long and with a rotor diameter of 13.2 meters, is no less impressive. Weight is a crucial factor in helicopter design. The Z20, with a maximum takeoff weight of 10,000 kilograms, edges out the Dhruv, which comes in at 5,500 kilograms. This difference highlights the Z20's capacity for heavier payloads and potentially longer range. However, the Dhruv's lighter weight could translate to enhanced agility, a crucial advantage in certain operational scenarios. Both helicopters feature a five-bladed main rotor design, a departure from the four-bladed configuration seen on many utility helicopters. This design choice hints at their emphasis on stability and reduced vibration, crucial for tasks like troop transport and high-altitude operations. The Z-20's fly-by-wire control system, a rarity in its class, promises enhanced maneuverability and automated flight control. The Dhruv, while lacking fly-by-wire, compensates with a robust hydraulic system known for its reliability. Both helicopters can carry a significant number of troops, with the Z-20 accommodating up to 15 and the Dhruv capable of carrying 12. This capacity underscores their intended roles as troop carriers and logistical support platforms. Now, let's talk engines. The Z20 is believed to be powered by two domestically produced WZ10 turboshaft engines, each generating around 1,600 kilowatts. These powerful engines are crucial for achieving the Z20's impressive performance figures. The Drov, on the other hand, offers a choice of engines, the Turbo Mecha Arden 1H1 or the HAL Shakti. These engines provide ample power with the Arden 1H1 generating 1,067 kilowatts and the Shakti offering 940 kilowatts. The availability of engine options for the Drov provides flexibility for different operating environments and mission requirements. The Z20's reliance on a single engine type, while simplifying logistics, could pose limitations in certain scenarios. In terms of speed, the Z20 has a slight edge, with the reported maximum speed exceeding 300 km per hour. The Dhruv, while no slouch, trails behind with a top speed of around 290 km per hour. This difference, though marginal, could be crucial in time-sensitive operations. When it comes to range, the Z20 again takes the lead, boasting a maximum range of over 700 km. The Dhruv, with a range of approximately 620 km, demonstrates respectable endurance. These figures highlight the Z20's suitability for long-range missions, while the Dhruv remains a capable platform for regional operations. A military helicopter's true potential lies in its ability to adapt to diverse combat scenarios. The Z20, designed with versatility in mind, can be armed with a range of weapon systems. These include machine guns mounted on the side doors, rocket pods for engaging ground targets, and air-to-air -air missiles for self-defense. While the exact weapon configurations remain classified, 
Experts believe the Z-20 can carry a significant payload, potentially rivaling dedicated attack helicopters in certain scenarios. The Dhruv, not to be outdone, also boasts an impressive array of armament options. It can be equipped with a nose-mounted turret housing a 20mm cannon, rocket pods for close air support, and anti-tank guided missiles for engaging armored threats. The Dhruv's combat capabilities have been battle-tested, with deployments in various counterinsurgency operations. Its versatility extends beyond conventional warfare, with variants designed for naval operations, search and rescue, and medical evacuation. The Z-20, while yet to see combat, is expected to play a crucial role in China's military operations, particularly in contested maritime environments. Both helicopters highlight the evolving nature of warfare, where utility helicopters are increasingly called upon to perform tasks traditionally assigned to dedicated attack aircraft. Their ability to seamlessly transition from troop transport to armed escort showcases their adaptability and underscores their value on the modern battlefield.